week's video. We are obviously in my truck, Andrew and I, and our tent is in the bed of the truck because we have found somebody to trade tents with. So, trading with a guy from Pensacola, which is about three hours from us, but we're meeting halfway, and um, he's got a two-person hard shell, and he's looking for, a, he had a fold out, wants another fold out, and he wants a bigger fold out. So, I think it's gonna work out for both of us. But we're on the way to meet up with him and let him look at each, him look at ours, ours look at his, and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned as we uh, possibly get a new tent today. The two yeah. bolts at. You have them. I got the nuts. Oh, I don't know. That'll I hold. Them. I got them. Surely that'll hold. <laughs> it's got a new home. Right. Should go. That's crazy. All right, we're heading back home. Uh, the deal is done. I think uh, he's happy. We're happy. Um, we're gonna have to change the rack on termite because this only vert bolts the opposite of the way we built termite's rack, which is fine because there was you know once you build something and over time you see some things you change. So we're gonna probably be taking the rack off termite, rebuilding that, changing that up a little bit. Um, but other than that, uh, we're, we're pretty happy about this, man. So um, we're heading back home. We're gonna stop and get some lunch and we'll check with you guys when we get back. All right, well, we're home. The tent is up, uh, as you can see there. We've got it, we kind of cleaned it up, just cleaned all the canvas uh, all the way around. And, um, The only thing that we're gonna have to do is it looks like the little headliner in here is kind of starting to separate just a little bit over here. Just kind of, kind of just a little loose uh, coming down. But uh, I think, I was talking with Andy, I think we could just drill these rivets all the way around and the whole shell would come off and then we could redo the headliner, uh, which is just, right in here that's doing but and it's not nothing that would have to be done today but uh otherwise everything's clean um can't wait to get that thing on the roof um i think this is going to be really nice it goes up super easy goes down super easy uh so i think it's going to work so yeah excited about that so we are uh we got termite on the lift no major problem. It's not even really doing anything wrong. This is really more of a preference fix for me, um, which I'm always a believer preaching. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's not technically broke, but I don't, what, what we're going to be doing today was a temporary solution at the time that we did the swap. And I always had intentions of coming back and now's the time to come back. So just to kind of show you what we're dealing with here, um, you watched a few weeks ago on one of the videos, I mentioned the, uh, the return line on the power steering. Now, of course, we have hydro boost, and so we have a return line coming out of the hydro boost. And um, I don't have my light out here at the moment, but there is a T right there. And it goes, you can see the reservoir and the big hose there. Well, that big hose goes down to a 90, to another 90, back up, uh, downsizes to the T, and there's just, I got probably, you'll see when we pull it out, there's probably 15 hose clamps on this thing, and it's just, it's number one, it's ugly. Uh, number two, it goes down below the steering shaft, which the steering shaft rubs one of the hose clamps, which is... Again, it's not doing anything bad. I just don't like it. It's not clean. Uh, I just, uh, I always intend anyway. So I went on Amazon and found a 90 degree power steering return line hose that already has a 90 obviously molded into it. Um, and it looks to be the same size from what I can tell. I don't know if this is the right part number or not. Um, there on that, but this was on Amazon. It was like seven bucks. And I seen it one night and I was like, man, that, that would help simplify a lot. So 
I'm going to get termite up in the air, my plan is, and pull that hose, drain the part I'm not looking forward to the most, drain all the, the fluid out, and start trying some way to fit that. It's just real close proximity between the reservoir and the T, but the size of the return line is so much smaller than, than that one. And I don't know if this is going to fix if I say there was a problem, and I don't even know if this is a problem. Anybody out there, please comment. If you've done a Hemi swap with the, the early model uh, Hemis, this is an 08 pre-Eagle head, and I think it's the same pump. I know my 09, my Ram has the same pump, but the pump is noisy. Um, I don't know if that's because of the hydro boost or what, but... When, when you're sitting still and just right off acceleration, you can hear the pump pretty good. Uh, now, when you're driving and up speed, you don't hear it at all. It turns fine. It stops fine. It's not jerking or, or nothing like that. But you can just, it, it sounds like it's got air in it. But we've put over 3,000 miles on this swap, and it's hard for me to believe that there, there would still be air in it after 3,000 miles. But uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I can hear the pump on my Ram. Faintly, if I really listen for it, I can hear it, but it's not. And I don't know if it's just because these don't have the insulation and all that kind of stuff, and you can just hear a little more stuff in the engine bay. I don't know. But I've back of my mind, I've wondered if I if I can get a smoother flow of a return back to the reservoir, would that maybe kind of help some with the noise? I I don't I don't think it will. But anyway. I rambled enough. That's what we're getting into today. I've been putting this off and putting it off, and today's just a good day. We're going to tear into this thing. So, anyway, let's get to it. All right, you can see we got our reservoir. You can see the 90, the other 90, and then it goes up to the uh, adapter and then on up to the T. So, you can see I've got it zip tied as well to keep it off the steering shaft. <laughs> so, like I said, it's it's worked. It has not leaked. It's it's you know served its purpose. But I uh, I knew when I did it, I was like, this is just to get us driving, get us going. Uh, I'm gonna come back one day and and do something better here. And so today is that day. And uh, we got these little brown birds. That makes it look like termite stays parked. They do this junk overnight. They will build these nests. I had to get up and clean that out. These old little, little brown, I don't know what kind of birds they are. But they will, I'll see them out in the yard in my truck. They will build a nest as soon as you pull up and park. But anyway, all right. So I guess I'm going to get something to catch the fluid when it comes out of there. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna find me a clean jug and we're gonna get to draining. Okay, we've got our drain pan set up. I've got a uh, old distilled water jug that I cut the top out of, dried it all out good, it's good and clean. Hopefully I can catch most of the fluid in here. Now, if it, obviously if it, the fluid looks bad for some reason, I'm not gonna just use it, but if it's clean, why not? So, I don't know what
All right, it's out. Y'all don't laugh. Promise me you won't laugh. Sometimes a brother's just got to do what a brother's got to do, man. But uh, you can see our hose sizes. Um, so here's our comparison here of hopefully this will. And our hose size looks, I do believe it will work. So, but you can see we also have a very short distance here. So that's, we're going to obviously trim this and cut it, but you can see this had to get the steering shaft ran through here. This will go above the steering shaft. So there'll be more clearance there. And, and, uh, but you can see why I, uh, this was temp supposed to be temporary. So we're making it temporary, but so, all right, now I got to get to configuring on fitting you can see the T there, and you can see the spout there. So I got a short distance. I can rotate this to be coming out of the side like so. And uh, you can see there, that's a, that's a short, short distance, but we'll see what we can, uh, what we can do with that. All right, guys, tell me what you think. We got a much simpler little hookup now. Um, that just kind of, let me get my hand in here. This just kind of a short little piece of hose. It's got a little bow in it, but it's not kinked. It goes up to the T. But yes, that is Apex fitting, but it fit real snug into both hoses. Uh, a good tight press fit, and then I put clamps on it, so <laughs> it fit uh before i had a threaded nipple on on it before with a clamp on it and it held um but we robbed a few hose clamps and uh we went from this square monstrosity as judah would say looked like something out of minecraft to uh something a little bit simpler and cleaner and as you can see we're way away from the steering shaft because before we came all the way down to here and went all the way back up and that's a lot simpler of a setup there. So, still a few hose clamps, but we went from four hose clamps that are, we're at four to two, four, six. We had six, no. Yeah, I think six. No, I don't know, more than four. <laughs> probably double, probably closer to eight because we had uh, two here two here, one here, one here, and then one on the nipple, and then one here. So yeah, that's two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we went from eight hose clamps to four hose clamps. So my inventory of hose clamps rose with this little update in the shop. So, all right, well, now we're gonna set termite back down and, uh, man, that looks so much better. I didn't, obviously, as you can tell, I didn't use this because that's such a sweeping 90 that um, it put me way far away. That hose was so close. And so I went to the hardware store in town and was looking at just, you know, your regular pipe fit 90s and stuff like that. And then I glanced over at the pecs. You got to walk past the pecs. And so I did that and I was like, hey, that looks like it would work. And it did fit real nice and snug in there. So that gave us a nice tight 90, uh, which is exactly what we needed. So, hey, if you won't tell nobody, I won't tell nobody. All right, so we got coming down the wheels. Well, that one's kind of touching the ground. But uh, you want the wheels not really touching the ground. The other one's pretty spin, I guess. There was fluid in the reservoir. I guess there's maybe some kind of baffle in the bottom of that thing that won't let much come out. But uh, anyway, what I'm doing is just turning it back and forth. Out it. I'm kind of going to block and block. Push out any air bubbles or anything. Just 
do that a few times. So for some reason, right after Termite fired up, my phone just quit recording. So there's no shots of me bleeding it while the engine's running, but I did. So sorry about that. All right, y'all. Well, let's uh let's go down the street in this thing and see uh see what it does. I mean, I'm not really expecting anything. As long as it don't leak, we're good. So back out of the shop here it's still noise I can still hear it it didn't do nothing for that but it's whatever I'm just gonna kind of I don't know if you guys can hear the pump or not that's kind of what it always but like I said I could kind of hear if I really listen for my truck, I can hear it in Andrew's Jeep too, which has the same pump, but like now it's gone, I don't even hear it no more. So it may just be noisy pump. I, I don't really know, but it's only at the, uh, like when you're idling at a red light and you get a take off that you kind of hear it. But other than that, it's not too bad. I've been driving date night for the last few days and then jumping into this with the Hemi it's like <laughs> way more power way more power in the Hemi but uh just kind of forget about it all right well I'm gonna cruise down the road man and uh turn around at our usual turnaround spot head back to the house and check for leaks well, everything went as you would expect it to go. Uh, I've crawled under there and looked, no leaks, everything's dry. Um, it didn't quieten it down any, I'm gonna assume that's just a, those pumps are just a little bit noisy. Um, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, everything's, I'm glad that's done. I know that probably don't seem like a big deal, but that, uh, that was always in the back of my mind. It's just annoying as to how much stuff all those connectors and how busy that was it always just kind of in the back of my head bugged me i don't like having return lines zip tied out of the way of the steering shaft <laughs> it worked it got us through to today to i uh, could actually get a what i feel like is a, a way better fix but uh that's a lot better what's on there now so and i also dug that bird nest out of the out of the grill but anyway well, guys, that's going to do it. We're, we uh, It was good to kind of spend a day wrenching in the shop on Termite. I do still have to do the sway bar links. Um, I've started to do that today, but I'm just it's getting hot here in, in the south, and I'm just kind of out of steam for the day. So that'll be another video, another day. We're going to get some sway bar disconnects built for this thing, and, um, and that'll be that. So other than that, though, AC still doing good. Termite runs just great, man. It's just it's just turning out so good everything we do just gets better and better and better but uh all right well i guess that's it for this week thank y'all for watching we'll see you next week